The holidays are approaching and I have a great gift that every kid will love. It is Osmo. And if you aren't familiar with Osmo, Osmo is a hands-on learning game which players use objects in the real world to interact with the digital world shown on either an iPad or a Fire tablet. Today we are going to talk about Osmo's two newest games that just came out. We are going to talk about Math Wizard and the Magical Workshop and we are going to talk about Math Wizard and the Secrets of the Dragons. And if you haven't guessed, they're both about math. First, we are going to talk about Math Wizard and the Secrets of the Dragons. It is for grades one and two and ages six through eight. And what your child will learn are how to use non-standard units of measure, how to use a ruler to measure, estimating length and adding lengths. Now we're gonna unbox the game. So we open it up. It comes with like a nice hardbound teal cover. You open the flap. It has all the instructions right here. Set up, instructions, what's inside. It comes with your postcard, what you need to start the game. And then it comes with this book. You fill out everything in this book. Your child can write their name. You're gonna fill out their favorite foods for each dragon. As they measure each dragon, they can write the measurements, everything in this book. Then it also comes with two plastic rulers and these are nice and sturdy. They're not made out of paper, they're plastic. They're nice and sturdy. Comes with a little case to keep your rulers in. And then it comes with all the little pieces. It comes with food pieces, measurements, everything you'll need to feed dragons, to measure dragons, and have so much fun with the game. So come on, I'm gonna show you how to play now. Okay, Carter, how do you feel about math? Oh, I think it's really easy and fun, but I never measure. So I can't wait to do Math Wizard and the Secrets of Dragons. And learn how to measure, huh? Yeah. All right, now we're gonna show you how to play Math Wizard and the Secrets of Dragons. It is right here. You press play. I'm gonna feed one of my babies. They teach you how to do it. Yay, you discovered a new dragon. First, I will measure. Look for this dragon in your guidebook. You find the number that it shows, 27. Let's see how long this new dragon is in centimeters. Sometimes it will ask you for inches or centimeters. Right now it asks for centimeters. You press your finger on the number that it's the, the, the last part that it goes to, from the right to the left. Once, since it's six, I'll put my finger on the six. Once it's loaded, you press the measurements. Look how happy that dragon is. So you measured a dragon. Next is feeding time. You press the baby and the dragon wants to eat this food. Sometimes it wants certain foods. Sometimes you can also get whatever food you want. You can pick the foods. Mm -hmm. It wants these two foods. Orange and avocado. Mm -hmm. Once it, uh, once the things are showing, you press the fork and the knife. Okay, stand back. The dragon will eat and you have feeding your baby. Okay, and now we're gonna talk about Math Wizard and the Magical Workshop. This is for ages six through eight, grades one and two, and what they'll learn is addition, subtraction, counting and place value, comparing numbers and word problems. Let's unbox it. So this one comes in a purple hardbound like cover. See, very nice. Then when you open it, oh, we're already losing things. It has the setup, instructions, what's inside. And then this is the mixing mat, which they will need to add and subtract on. It comes with counting rods for the tins and the ones. It comes with stickers and your magic potion book. And as they add and subtract, they'll figure out the potions and put the stickers on, like once they've, you know, passed that level and everything. So here's the little book. And then it also comes with the postcard to play the game. So come on, I'm gonna show you how to play the game. Hello, now it is time to start Math Wizard and the Magic Workshop. 
first, I need two numbers that give me these numbers. 17 and 14. That gives me 31. So, I'm going to do those two numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's 17. So you have to pick between the 17 or the 13. So he picked 17. And now I'll do 14. 1, 2, 3, 4. So you could pick between those three numbers. So he picked 17 plus 14. And what does it equal, Carter? 31. Well, it tries to find the rest of the four, I will do 31. Now that it's ready, I will press the check button, the magic will go inside, and it will work. And it will create the speed potion. Okay, Carter, after playing both games and showing us how to play both games, do you have a favorite? Okay, my favorite is Math Wizard and the Secret of the Dragon. Why? Why is your Why is this one your favorite? Because I love being dragons that turn to adults and then they fly away and I get new eggs and then babies. New then baby they, dragons and yeah, you like and it goes measuring. Over and over and over and measuring and and having so much fun. Yeah, and it comes with like food pieces. Um, I would say this game will keep your kids like playing longer. There's like food to feed the dragons, measure the dragons, they grow up, they fly away, then new baby dragons hatch. It's super fun. My kids love playing this one and they play this for a long time. Now, this game is so great too. We like this game a lot though too, right? Yes, because yes. of the math. The, because of the math and you're adding and subtracting, which is so great. And then you're making new potions and it's super cute with the little wizard cat. The base retail for $69. Each game is $59 or you can get them together for $109.